name is Marie and usually we take care of our lower parts of our bodies when we go for a run or a walk. Today I'm going to give you a few more exercises using this park bench to tackle other parts of the body. So let's get started. Coming around and using the seat position of the bench, we're going to tackle part of the body that we all want to work, which is our triceps, the backs of the arms. So sitting on the edge, hands by your side, tuck your elbows in nice and tight and we're going to start from here. Slip your butt off the bench, make sure that your shoulders don't raise up towards your ears, you want to have that length and you're going to slowly lower yourself down, trying to get the 90 degree angle in your arms. Imagine that you're trying to scratch your lower back and not put too much weight through your feet. What we're going to do is about 10 reps of this, feeling it working through the arms. Good. Make sure your butt doesn't slide away from the bench, keeping it tight. And one more. All right, now we're gonna change it around. We're gonna use our plank position. So getting into this position, we're gonna test our balance as well as our strength through our arms and our abs. So shoulder, hands about shoulder width apart, relax your neck and drop your shoulders. From here, we're gonna just slowly rotate, taking one arm up towards the sky and trying to hold it in that balanced position. Try not to drop through the hips. You wanna imagine that your hips are being lifted up by helium balloons and bringing the arm back down into plank position. Relax the shoulders, I'm going to do the other side as well. So lifting up to about in line with your shoulders and back down again. Let's do a few more. Just rotate through the feet, try not to drop your hips as you go from one arm to the other. Let's do two more on each side, up and back. Try not to overextend the arms, so about 90 degrees where you're balanced. One more, lifting up. Make sure you also keep your eyes on your hands as you do this exercise. Good, okay, give your arms a little rest. We're gonna now use the bench just to keep our heart rate going by using our legs. So we're gonna do a side step up. For this one, it's most important that you keep your heel onto the bench, keep your chest lifted and your heart or your head up nice and tall. From here, put the weight down through your heel as you bring the other foot up towards the bench, keeping your feet light as you land. By putting your weight through your heel, you're actually using more through the butt and the hamstrings, so not too much pressure through the quad and the knee. Let's do two more, land softly, and try not to slump forward. Good, other side, we'll do 10. Stay up tall as you step through the heel, trying not to lose your balance, and landing softly. Good, a few more. Shoulders lifted, looking straight ahead, and we're done. Okay, now we're gonna do a few more for the abs. Again, using the bench. So sitting up towards the end of the bench, take a light hold of it. Remember not to draw your shoulders up towards your ears too much, so relax your neck. Taking your feet off the ground by crossing them at the heels. We want to lift the knees towards the chest. Imagine that there are magnets on the knees and on the chest, and you're having that drawn in effect. So from here, feet off the ground, Bring your knees up into your chest for 10 reps. Try to keep your abs pulled in as you do this exercise. Four, five, six, seven. We don't want to lean back too much and also don't want to be just moving the back towards the knees. And done. Good. Back into our plank position. We're now going to do an exercise I call Superman. And we're going to imagine we're like the superhero working parts of the abs and the arms as we get into position. So plank position once again, drawing up through your abdominals. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your neck is also in a relaxed position. So from here, we're gonna lift up one leg and the opposite arm. You're gonna try and hold this position and keeping your hips as straight as possible as you do so. So the idea is not to tilt and find an easy option, it's to actually work through your core muscles as well as your arms, legs, back and abs. Okay, let's do three on each side. So check your position each time. Relax your shoulders, hips down, abs pulled in. You can hold this for as long as you like. If you're feeling strong, hold it for a little bit longer. And if you're finding this quite challenging, you can alternate a little faster. Let's do one more on each side. As you stretch your hand out as well, make sure your shoulders stay low. Let's go back up to the beginning. We're going to go with those triceps and I'll show you a slight variation on what we just did. So hands by your side again. 
So you're going to slide your butt off the bench, keeping your shoulders relaxed and your neck long. You can, as you slide off, if you're feeling like an extra challenge, cross one leg over. So now you've only got one leg to balance on. Same principles, elbows in, keep your butt close to the bench as if you're scratching your lower back and not too much weight through the foot. You might find you also get a good stretch through the leg that's crossed as it works through that hip region. That does two exercises in one. And we'll swap legs. So cross the other one over. If you've got two feet on the ground, you just keep going. Otherwise, we'll give the other one a bit of a go. And five, make sure that butt doesn't slide out. Keep it in close. And done, good. All right, shake it out. You should start to feel that burn through the arms and the shoulders. So now we're gonna go back into our plank, into our rotation as well, and add a little bit of an extra challenge for those that want. So plank position, shoulders out wide, neck relaxed, hips up high and your belly drawn in. From here, we're gonna add that rotation we did earlier. So hands up to the, uh, eyes up to the hands, up towards the sky. When you come back down to the bench, we're gonna add a little push up. So elbows out, drawing your abs in, lowering your chest. Over to the other side, hands up into rotation. As you come back down, adding a push up. Let's do three on each side. Arm up, back down to the bench, chest towards the bench, out and back. So we're tackling all the arms, the chest, the shoulders, the abdominals, as we do this exercise, as well as our balance. One more. Right up high. Back down to the bench, lower and lift. Good, shake it out. We're starting to feel the burn. So now we're gonna do our side step ups again. If you want to add a little bit extra for your inner thigh muscles, we're gonna take the step out a little bit wider. So again, heel up on the bench, stand up tall, make sure you've checked yourself. So your abdominals pulled in, head up nice and high. Heel must be where the weight goes onto. So as we do our step up this time and you touch the bench, this time I want you to land out a little bit wider knees out as you squat. Nice and gentle, not to strain anything, but giving your inner thighs a little bit of a workout. So stepping out, soft landing, tap and step out. So we're adding a little extra dimension by stretching out the muscles and making them work in a different way. Stay up tall, land softly and feel those inner thighs work. Let's do the other side. Step up, out wide, knees out, chest lifted. Okay, remember somebody's holding you from the top of the head. So we wanna make sure that we don't lose our posture. This is working the legs in a different position. So where you're running and walking is usually in a straight line. We are now putting the legs out on an angle, working the inner thighs. Okay, well done, and shake it out. Back into our knee lifts. So we're gonna sit on the edge of the bench and I'll show you another variation if you wanna make it a little bit harder to our normal knee lifts. So, oh, I can feel it working already. So sitting on the end, hold onto the bench, cross your legs and draw your knees up towards your chest. We're gonna start off with 10 and then I'll show a variation on those ones for those that want it. Six, remember the magnet on the knees, brought up towards the sternum. Okay, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can extend the legs out. This is called increasing the lever. So we're gonna extend the legs out and you're gonna lower from there as you pull your abs in. If you find that's too hard, just bend your knees again and go back into your first exercise. Five more, two, three, four, and five. Good. Finishing off with one last exercise before we move on, back into our Superman position. And this time, we're gonna lift and extend opposite arm and hand. For five reps, oops, almost lost it then. Three, nice big extension. Try not to let your abs go. Keep your spine in a straight line. One more on each side, up, and last one. 
Excellent. Okay, so I feel like I've worked on my whole body just by using this park bench once I'm on a walk or a run and this is what I've come across. So trust you've had some good fun with me and I'll see you next time on eFit30.